Hey, what's up? This is Ace, and welcome to the first installment of my brand new 2017 Mugen character creation tutorial. In today's tutorial, I will just be showing you the programs that you will need in order to make a character. Now, the first program you'll need is some sort of image editor, graphics editor on your computer. Personally, I use Photoshop, but I didn't always use Photoshop. I used to use Paint all the time, and that's pretty basic and it's already on your computer probably if you have a Windows laptop or PC so if you have paint that's okay but in my next tutorial I will be showing you how to make your own sprites so I would recommend getting another program like Adobe Photoshop because this is really awesome and honestly this is the only other uh, program that I've used other other than paint to make my sprites so if you don't have Adobe Photoshop uh, and you want to just try it out then click on the first link in the description and it'll take you to adobe.com slash product slash blah 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 and you'll be right here you can download a free trial by clicking on free trial and if you like what you see you could you know pay for it and buy it it's a ten dollar uh, fee every month which I feel isn't too bad if you're a student you could get all of the Adobe products for only twenty dollars a month which I think is uh, an amazing deal but if you're really hard up on cash, of course, you could always try to get it for free, which I do not recommend. But if you wanted to explore the options of getting Photoshop for free, then you could click on the second link below and it'll take you to a search of how to get Photoshop for free on YouTube. And you could just scroll down and check out some of these videos and I'm sure you could figure something out. Again, I really recommend you to actually just try the free trial first and if you like it, then pay for Adobe Photoshop because Adobe Photoshop is uh, a really awesome program. Alright, so if you don't already have a Mugen, then click on the third link in the description and it will take you to MugenGuild.com where you can download Mugen 1.0 and Mugen 1.1. The main difference between these two Mugen versions is that a Mugen 1.1 has a lot more features while Mugen 1.0 is more stable but for the purposes of this tutorial we'll just download both so we could try out both for our new character that we're making so what you do is click on the link right here that says Mugen 1.0 and the download should pop up I'm gonna just save it to my desktop so I'm gonna just go to the desktop and click save and I'm going to do the same for Mugen 1.1b. Just save it to the desktop. And now what we need is Fighter Factory because Fighter Factory is basically how we are going to put our character together. So if you click on the last link in the description, you will find a link to infinitymuginteam.com where you could download multiple versions of Fighter Factory. You could download Fighter Factory Classic, which as you can see right here is the recommended version. Uh, you could download Fighter Factory Ultimate or you could download Fighter Factory 3. Usually, I use a mix between Fighter Factory Classic and Fighter Factory 3. But for this tutorial, I'll only be showing you Fighter Factory 3. So let's click on Fighter Factory 3. I'm going to click on the 64 bit version because I'm pretty sure that's the version of Windows that I have. And I'm going to just download that to the desktop as well. So now that you downloaded those three things to the desktop or wherever you downloaded them, then go to where they are located on your computer and extract them. So I'm going to just extract them to their own separate folder. Now on my desktop, I have Mugen 1.1, which looks like this on the inside, has the characters, data, docs, everything that you need for Mugen, and Mugen 1.0 will look exactly the same. If you just open it up, as the characters, data, docs, etc. And for the Fighter Factory 3, if you click on this folder and open it up, here it is. Now, the 
application that you want to click on is right here, the Fighter Factory 3.exe. I'm not going to open it up right now because right now we're not going to start making our character quite yet. Instead, I'm going to create a desktop shortcut. So I'm going to just right click and drag it to the desktop and I'm going to click on create shortcuts here. And there we go. We have a Fighter Factory 3 shortcut and that's basically it. That's all you need for character creation. You just need Mugen, you need Fighter Factory, and you need some sort of graphics editor. If this video helped you get everything you need to make a character, then awesome. I suggest you really think about the character that you plan on making. For my tutorial, I will be showing you how to make gear for Luffy. And in the next video, I'll be showing you how to acquire your very own sprites. I'm going to talk about what a sprite is and how to make your own sprites, which I feel like will be pretty awesome. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And please don't forget to have an amazing day. Peace.